Morning, Nana. Morning, Gopal. So you waved at you. Signed <coughs> early, I think. No, no, another two minutes. You came in the right time. Oh. <laughs> One more minute. Few seconds. Yeah, few seconds. Gopal will give a call. Or my. AOTS staff will give a call. My video stop on it, Ramah. Your video. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, good morning everybody. This is Ranganathan here. Uh, again, this week back uh, with the part B of the 20th century museum series. You know, last week we did the 20th century museum series part A covering one to six. Now this week we'll be doing from seven to 11. Now, when we say seven to 11, see during 1999-2000, Japanese Post released seven, uh, totally 17 sheets of events, people, personalities, or even some of the incidents that have taken place during that one century, which they thought is very important. So each sheet contained about 10 stamps. Those 17 stamps, uh, 17 sheets 
carried 170 stamps. Now this week we'll be doing from uh, 7 to 11 and here we go. Now this is a 20th century series, 7 to 11. This is a theme 15 that we are doing. Now, if you look at this series, this is a series seven. It has got totally 10 stamps. And one interesting factor I want to say is <clears throat> this seat, date of issue is written as 23rd February, 2000. And in the brackets, it said, ASA 12. Okay, so I wanted to first introduce the concept of ASA, uh, how the postal departments and uh, all the Japanese working is depending on the Japanese uh, era counting system of ASA. So for your information. Now, if you see, we have also taken uh, one pair of stamps, the railway engine, which is a Saturnant pair. So that we have introduced the uh, release date as February 23rd and size 56 by 37 millimeters because each individual stamp is 28 by 37, multicolor, Saturn and horizontal Saturn and, and it's commemorative printed in photogravure. Now let's look into this uh, ASA era before we go further. The present is yeah. ASA era is a period in Japanese history corresponding to the reign of Emperor Akihito from 8th January 1989 until his abdication on 30th April 2019. The ASA era started on 8th January 1989, the day after the death of Emperor Hirohito, when his son Akihito ascended to the throne as a 125th emperor. And as per Japanese customs, Hirohito was posthumously renamed as Emperor Showa on 31st January, 1989. And Heisei, which is translated as becoming peace, is the era that started, that's the Heisei era. Thus, 1989 corresponds to Showa 64 until 7th January, and ASA from 8th January in the same year. Okay, so ASA era ended on 30th April 2019 when it is called as ASA 31. Sir, uh, yes, the presentation is not there. The presentation, presentation is not showing. PPT. Okay, I'll come back again. Sorry, now you'll see. Uh, I'm sharing it. Are you able to see this? Are you able to see? No, sir, the only window is showing your documents only. The PPT is not showing. Okay, let me try again. I'm sorry. I'm putting share screen. It says you're sharing screen. Now it's okay, okay sir. We can start okay. from the first slide. Okay, right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, give me a minute. Thank you, Bhopal. Okay. Good morning again. It's a pleasure saying again good morning to you today. Now, <coughs> again, this is a commemorative uh, expression of our Indo-Japan relationship for friendly relationship and diplomatic ties for nearly 70 years. Now, today we'll be presenting. Last week I presented on the uh, 20th century uh, museum series part A. Uh, during 20th century, a lot of important events took place. A lot of personalities came to be known. People came to be known. All that, they are put in 170 stamps in 17 sheets, each sheet containing about 10 stamps. Now, each sheet is being taken and the stamps are explained to you with an interesting background. Well, each stamp has got a story behind. I would like to share the story with you. Now, this is the first 
exam stem series seven. Last time we did one to six. This time we'll be doing seven to eleven. Now, if you see the sheet has got the details of this sheet is given on the right hand side. Twentieth century stem series released on date of issue is twenty third January February two thousand. And then dimensions are given fifty ends two and eighty ends eight. All the details of the designs are all given there. And down below in the blue thing, I given the details of the two engines together in a certain end. So the certain stamp size, date of issue, what is the printing, the, the perforation comb, all that is being given there. Now, like that, we are going to see uh, today uh, seven to eleven. Now, if you see, uh, let me go back for a minute. If you see, the date of issue is given as twenty third February two thousand. Within brackets, it's given as AC twelve. What is this AC twelve? Is what I would like to explain before we go further. AC era is a period in the Japanese history corresponding to the reign of Emperor Akihito from eighth January nineteen eighty nine until his abdication on thirtieth April two thousand nineteen. On the right hand side, you can see Emperor's photograph. The AC era started on eighth January. 1989, the day after the death of Emperor Hirohito, when his son Akihito ascended to the throne as the 125th emperor, and as per Japanese customs, Hirohito was posthumously renamed as Emperor Showa on the 31st January 1989. <clears throat> Ace translates to becoming to become peace, and thus 1989 corresponds to Showa 64. Until seventh January, and the ASA one starts from the eighth January. ASA era ended on thirtieth April two thousand nineteen, which is ASA thirty one, with the abdication of Akihito from the Kusantam throne. <coughs> from the Kusantam throne, it, he was succeeded by the Reva era, as the Crown Prince 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 Naruhito ascended to the throne on the first midnight of the local time on May first. Okay, now let's see. Based on this, every stamp will have a English era and also a corresponding Japanese era <coughs> printed in them. Now, if you look at this, uh, there is a certain and pair of stamp. They are the JRE's D fifty one four eighty eight on the Joet's line till it is running, um, uh, not on a regular series, but occasionally. But till 2008, it was seen running on the line. The design of the class D51, 1936, was based on a earlier D50 of 1923. A total of 1,115 D51 were built, the largest number of any single class of locomotive built in Japan. Okay, so now all the designs were made uh, by a Japanese, okay, Hideyoshima. So he was the man who was responsible for this, and then if you see down below, uh, there is a Musashi by E.G. Uh, Yoshikawa. The stamp of Yoshikawa is on the left. His famous book Musashi is on the right, which is not a stamp, of course. It's only the cover page of the thing. Yoshi Yoshikawa, E.G. Yoshikawa, was a Japanese historical novelist. He was awarded the Cultural Order of Merit. In 1960, the highest order for a man of letters in Japan, the Order of the Sacred Treasure and the Mainichi Art Award just before his death from cancer in 1962. In 1935, with the serialization of Musashi, about famed swordsman Miyamoto Musashi, Nasashi Shimbun, yes, is settled as historical adventure fiction writer. Musashi is a Japanese epic novel written by Yoshikawa-san about the life and deeds and legendary Japanese swordsman Miyamoto Musashi. So that's why he finds a place in the uh, 20th century stamp series seven. Similarly, the largest built engine also finds a place in the same series in that century. Now, if you look at the other next two stamps, they're also very interesting stamps. First edition of the dictionary Daigenkai Dai, Dai by Otsuki Fumihiko was 
finding a place is finding a place there what fumiko was a japanese lexicographer linguist and historian best known for the two japanese language dictionaries he had edited genkai literally means sea of word and it is succeeded by another one dai genkai literally means great sea of words 1932-1937 and for his studies of japanese grammar genkai gave not only basic information about words their representations in kana and kanji the chinese characters and the definition in japanese also the pronunciation etymologies and citations of use so he deserves a place in the uh, 20th century stamp so he is there the next is uh, again a very interesting um, stamp the popular song and dance of 1930s what what you call us Tokyo Ondo, lyrics by Saijo Yaso and music by Nakayama Shinpei. Now, Tokyo Ondo has been used by Tokyo Yakult. Yakult is a very famous uh, baseball team. Tokyo Yakult uh, swallows as a part of their umbrella dance tradition. Every time a player scores a home home run or during the lucky seven, in which they do an umbrella dance. like our cheerleaders dancing or uh, our own uh, ipl uh, uh, cricket teams are doing they have a number la dance called lucky seven for the yakult swallows and uh, before they are up to bat on seventh inning the tokyo ondo would be the music that will be played while they do a number la dance in which fans have mini umbrellas all the fans carry a small mini umbrella and then they carry all the mini umbrellas during that tokyo ondo so that's an interesting thing now the next is enoken troop established in 1932 by enomoto kenichi 1904 to 1970 a popular japanese singing comedian mostly known for his stage name enoken a major inventor during his heyday enoken stage shows radio appearances and film roles were a major influence within Tokyo theater before the world war 2 and was a catalyst for the revival of comedy in the post war period the great kanto earthquake of the following year 1923 dealt a great blow to the opera world in Tokyo at which time enomoto shifted to comic theater playing small roles in the various comedy production he returned to the asakusa stage in 1929 The following year saw him launch his own troupe, Enoken Gekiden, which would firmly establish him as a leading figure in Tokyo theoretical circles. And also, he is there in the 20th century stamp series seven. Now, this is a very very touching story. The next stamp is not a person or a personality. This is about a dog. Most of you would have heard about this dog. Okay, Hachiko. Achko is a dog from Akita. Akita dogs are very well known for their loyalty, attachment to their masters. Now, Akita's dog is uh, the Achko. It is brought as a small pup and it has been growing with his master every day between 1925 and 1935. Achko dog waited at the Tokyo Shibuya train station in the hopes that his blind dead master would return. He had a master who was a professor in the university, so every day Achko will take him, accompany him to the station in the morning, leave him exactly three o'clock. Achko will go back to the station to bring the professor back home. One day, the professor has a cerebral hemorrhage in the class while he was teaching, and he dies. Achko didn't know that he has died. He went and waited for him in the place at three p.m. Later on. Achko was taken over by a new master, new owner. In spite of a lot of work with the new owner, exactly at three o'clock, Achko will be at Shibuya Station. What has happened? There are people who are coming to see Achko coming at three o'clock and uh, waiting at the station for the master. Like that, Achko waited for ten years for the master. Then one day he died on March eight, nineteen thirty-five. Sorry, there's a. One missing nine is nineteen thirty-five. This became a national headline. On the right hand side, you can see Achko is uh, dead, and then all the 
Shibuya station staff coming and mourning there. The Shibuya station, a statue has been erected for faithful Hachiko. Of course, uh, during the war, when they were running short of uh, material, metal for uh, making this thing, uh, ammunition, Hachiko was melted and then that was used. But again, all the people there collected and re erected Hachiko's uh, statue there. Hachiko's statue is very famous in Tokyo. And in Shibuya, that's a meeting place for all people. <coughs> now, the next is the uh, satellite uh, stamp showing two baseball players. The professional baseball in Japan is first started in 1920s, but it is not until the Greater Japan Tokyo Baseball Club, Dai Nippon Tokyo Yakyu Kurab, was established in 1934. The modern professional game had continued its success. In 1934, the Greater Japan Tokyo Baseball Club, Dai Nippon Tokyo Yaku Club, Yaku Club, was established, reviving professional baseball. The second team, called the Osaka Baseball Club, Osaka Yaku Club, was established the following year. The former became the very famous Yomiuri Giants and the Tokyo Giants, or the Tokyo Giants, and they later became the Hanshin Tigers in 1936. Uh, therefore, the two famous baseball teams, they find a place in the 20th century stamp series seven. Now the next is uh, uh, bird. Okay, last time we had a dog, now we have, it's called Ryukyu wooden pigeon. Ryukyu is the name of uh, uh, Okinawa before it was called as the Ryukyu kingdom. And Ryukyu kingdom after the war was occupied by uh, US. Then it is returned to uh, uh, Japan. Now the Rikyu wooden pigeon, the Columbia, uh, Columba Soji, Soji is uh, uh, extinct pigeon now. It is also known as silver banded or silver crescented pigeon and is extinct species of the bird. This pigeon was endemic because it endemic, was living in the place. Uh, to the islands of Okinawa. So it is not from somewhere it has come and migrated into Okinawa. It's a local breed staying in Okinawa. And the southwest of Okinawa is the southernmost island of Japan after Kyushu. It's also fairly a big uh, island, okay. mm. but not in the same size as the four major islands. So like all the species, Japanese wooden pigeons, the Rikyu wooden pigeon was very susceptible to habitat destruction. It required sustainable, sustainable areas of undistributed and undisturbed subtropical forest to thrive. The species was last recorded in Okinawa in 1904, probably uh, scumbling to hunting. It uh, disappeared after 1936 due to this small island being completely destroyed for settlement construction activity after the World War II. Now, the 20th century stamp series eight. Now, if you see this stamp series eight, in it's in AZ 12, AZ 12, that is 2000. And then uh, the right hand side, I don't know how many of you have seen this lady. I was seen this lady when I was very young, called Ellen Killer. The lady was blind and also couldn't hear, but uh, carried a message of hope all over the world. She has even come to India, come to Chennai also, Ellen Killer. So she was a, a lady who shown what people can achieve by having trust and faith in their own self. Now, now we have seen two aircrafts in the first one. It's a Saturn and pair of stamp. Okay. Uh, now these are two called as Kamikaze Go and Nippongo are the names of the two aircrafts. There you can see the registration there on that thing. Registration J dash B A A I was sponsored by the newspaper. It's a very famous newspaper, Asahi Shimbun. It became famous, uh, not the Shimbun, but the Kamikaze Go became famous on April 9, 1937, as Kamikaze Go was the first Japanese built aircraft to fly from Japan to Europe. The flight from Tokyo to London 
took 51 hours. Can you imagine today the speed at which we can reach places? And it took 51 hours, 17 minutes, 23 seconds. And it is piloted by Masaki Linuma and uh, with a Kinji Tsukagoshi serving as a navigator. Nippongo was a converted Mitsubishi G3 M2 Model 21 bomber operated by Mainichi Shimbun. The first one was a Ashari Shimbun, second is a Mainichi Shimbun. These papers used to sponsor such things so that they also sell. It's a uh, good uh, PR material for them, newspaper. And it used to make a round the world flight in 1939. Nippongo took off from Haneda Airport. At that time, Tokyo had only Haneda Airport. Narita was not there on 25th August 1934, flew around the globe and returned to Tokyo after 55 days on 20th October 1939, having flown 52,886 kilometers, which is equivalent to 32,862 kilometers in 194 flying hours. On April 15, 1937, Helen Keller, and Polly Thompson, which is supposed to be, this lady is supposed to rise in years, landed in Yokohama Bay around abroad the ship called Asama Maru. Keller was well aware of the, her precarious position between peacemaker and American propagandists, but she had her own message, hope and light to pass on to the uh, people of uh, Japan. And she spent the next 10 weeks visiting 33 cities, giving talks to more than 1 lakh people in, in Japan. Now, if you look at this stamp series, it's a very interesting uh, information behind it. Uh, yeah, I took some time to find out this information. Okay. Send in Bari, 1,000 stitches is a cloth that is a protective amulet given. So if you wear that cloth, you are protected. It's the information that's given to the soldiers leaving for war in China. It was a strip of white cloth embellished by thousand women with thousand stitches, French knots when they say stitches, soon with the red thread. Red is traditionally as auspicious color. Uh, Monpe or Kokumin Fuku. Kokumin Fuku is a national uniform for civilians during the war. It is not the army uniform. It's a sort of a jacket. You can see that man wearing in the stamp. As well as down below, you can see the design that they have. There's a Kokumin Fuku, both for women and men. Okay. This uniform called Kokumin Fuku are the, are the national uniforms that were first introduced on May 1940 and further issued as an emperor edict in November to make it a law. The government launched a civilian uniform that could be worn for all occasions to rationalize the civilian wardrobe needs in time of this material shortage. Because of the war, there was a material shortage. The government launched civilian uniform that could be worn for all occasions. In 1945, by Edict 384 of 22nd June, you could even go to war as a soldier on this national civilian uniform. The series for women was also developed later from the June 1941 and was introduced in April 1942. That is the uh, history behind this stamp that uh, the Kokumin Fuku is being, the national uniform is being introduced through this stamp. Now, there was a novel, novel called, okay, Robuno Ushi, uh, Robuno Ishi. Robuno Ishii means wayside stone by Yamamoto Yuzo in 1937. Okay. Tomotoka Takasaka, a pebble by wayside Robono Ishii, made in 1938 and taken from Yuzo Yamamoto's novel. Takes place around 1902. Okay. The pebble by wayside was uh, made as a movie uh, in 1938. And uh, it was about a young boy brought up entirely by his mother since his drunken father was never home. Story about the hardships of this boy 
and finally rescued by his teacher forms the story a wayside stone okay or uh, pebble by the wayside so normally japanese uh, always like some amount of uh, suffering pathos uh, in their stories so this one such thing and uh, so the, therefore uh, yamamoto yuzo finds a place in the stamps then yuzo yamamoto was a japanese novelist and a, a playwright his real name was pronounced the same as his pen name he was born to a family of kimono makers this is about yuzo yamamoto he helped to co-found the japanese writers association and openly criticized japan's wartime military government for his censorship of politics policies after world war 2 he joined a debate of, on japanese language reform and from 1947 to 53 he served the national diet as a member of the house of council uh, national diet is nothing other than our own national parliament this the national diet there in 1965 he was awarded the prestigious order of culture that's the about the author and it is book <clears throat> now the next is tanaka kinyo and we are ken in aizen katsura 1938 again a very uh, uh, touching uh, story some amount of pathos in it a young doctor kozo tsumura played by weara falls for a young nurse kasie takanishi takaishi played by tanaka but she has got a secret that she was a widow with a son kazu and kasie decided to run away to kyoto but her child suddenly became sick and she just missed the train to kyoto she makes it to kyoto finally but she is not unable to meet the doctor there plus she is not well accepted in kyoto in the society this is again a problem there because it's a hierarchical society in those days and uh, there are a lot of uh, cultural restraints and therefore she couldn't be accepted in the society she goes back to her hometown and tries to uh, forget him she quits the hospital to concentrate on her singing she makes herself a professional a singer and a professional debut with a hit called Aizen Katsura and uh, she sings and sees Kazu the doctor played by Oyara Kazu Tsumura was in the audience that's the story that's how it ends so that's it's a, it's a very famous in 1938 this is very well received by people therefore it finds a place in them next is sumo champion <coughs> Yokozuna Futabayama. Now, Yokozuna is the highest awarding uh, championship in, uh, in Sumo. Futabayama is uh, uh, Futabayama Sadaji. It's between 1912 and 1968. It was a Japanese professional Sumo wrestler from the Oita Prefecture. Okay. Entering Sumo in 1927, he was sports 35th Yokozuna from 1937 until his retirement in 1945. That means for eight years he was holding the place, which is pretty uh, difficult, but he has done very well. He won 12 Yusho, the top division championship, and had a winning streak of 69 consecutive bouts and all-time record. Despite his dominance, he was extremely popular with public. After his retirement, he was the head coach for, uh, see, they, what they call us, for every sumo for training, they, place called, they call it as a stable. Okay. Takitsu, Takitsu Kaze stable, he was heading that, and he was also the chairman of the Sumo Association, Japan National Sumo Association, and he finds a place in the series. Sawamura Eiji is a baseball player. Why is that he is finding a place here? Iji Sawamura was a Japanese professional baseball player. With the formation of the Japanese Baseball League, Sawamura joined the Yomiuri Giants. We have also talked about them earlier. Yomiuri Giants was the first baseball team to be formed in 1936 and became one of their aces. He pitched the first 
no hitter in Japanese pro baseball in September 25, 1936, as well as two others, May 1, 1937 and July 6, 1940. In 1943, he was drafted for the Japanese Imperial Army. Unfortunately, he was killed in the battle near Yakushima when his ship was torpedoed by the USS Sea Devil near the end of the World War II. Sawamura was inducted to Japanese Baseball Hall of Fame in 1959. Okay. And the next one is what you see is uh, a beautiful painting. Uh, it's called Seated Woman by Shiko Munakata. Shiko Munakata was a woodblock, woodblock printer, that is Ukiyo-e, Ukiyo-e printmaker, uh, active in the Showa area, Showa period, Showa era period, and he is associated with Sosuk Hanga movement and Minge folk art movement. Munagata was awarded the Prize of Excellence at the Second International Print Exhibition at Lugano, Switzerland, 1958. The first prize at Sao Paulo at the Biennial Exhibition at Brazil in 1955, followed by Grand Prix at the Venice Biennial in 1956. The Order of Culture, the highest honor of the arts of the Japanese government in 1917. Okay, Dareka Kokyo Omawazaru, song by Koga Masawo. Dareka, anybody? Kokyo Omawazaru. Can anybody forget their hometown is the meaning of this? A touching human side story connected to this popular wartime song. On July 25, 1945, Lieutenant General Adachi, commander of the 18th Army, ordered his men to die for honor at the end of September. As the unit was fighting uh, strength, they lost their fighting strength. Around the same time, many soldiers began singing this song. The who doesn't think about their hometown. You can never forget the hometown, which is a wartime hit. We lost all the hope of returning, but we all thought of home. The staff officer of the 18th Army at that time, Mr. Horiye, was our staff officer. The young Horiye's photograph is what I've given down below, okay, which is responsible for the operations in the region. Now, as the chairman of the group of that prays for those who died during the war, and seeks to recover the remains of the soldier. He calls how they were all singing this song to motivate themselves to fight it. And he learned that the war has ended three days after the Japanese surrendered in August 15, 1945, sparing him and his team from sacrificing themselves. Now, this is a series number nine. This series also got a lot of human uh, stories in this series, and this series was released on April 21st in 2000, which is again AZ-12. The size of this, the, the, the details of this uh, sheet are given here, and uh, the each one of the stamp, the name of why this stamp is there, but I'll be talking to you about the thing. You've got two types of stamps. One is a stamp, another one is a saturnine. So therefore, the details of the stamp so all, all of them are released on the same April 21st. The stamp size is 28 by 37 millimeters, whereas the second end is 56 by 37 millimeters. That's all, that's a double that. <coughs> we'll look into the individual stories of these uh, 10 stamps. Now, Chiyune Sugiara is a very, very famous man. Uh, Israel gave him a big, it recognized them. His story is a uh, very interesting story, very touching story. He was a vice consul for a Japanese empire in Konas in Lithuania and during the Second World War. And then um, there were a lot of Polish Jews in that area and they were trying to escape from the uh, Hitler's Nazi army that is moving towards them. If they have to escape and go out of uh, thing, and that means they have to go to Vladivostok in Russia and uh, take a ship and escape to Japan. That means they need a Japanese visa to enter into Japan, that's one. Secondly, if they leave Lithuania and then go, then they have to go through Russia 
So Russia said if they have a visa to ultimate destination, we'll allow them to go through the thing. So Sujira son has to give them the visa as the consul general there, consul them. So he asked okay, uh, Japanese head office to permit him to give the visa. Okay. But uh, he was not permitted. But in spite of that, on humanitarian counts, it is said he gave nearly 6,000 people uh, visas and uh, he was signing the visa papers day and night. And his wife was supposed to be massaging his fingers and feeding him food and all that. And then they all escaped. Uh, and then Sugiura son disobeyed the order from the headquarters. So he was asked to resign. Of course, he was captured, and for one year he was in the prison. He came out and all that. But if you see, state of Israel, okay, honored Sugiura as one of the righteous among the nations for his actions. He is the only Japanese national been so far honored with that uh, in the year 2000. Okay, the year of the year 2020 was celebrated as the year of Shione Sugihara in Lithuania. Of course, later on, Japanese government went and apologized for uh, listening to Sugihara's uh, wife, and he was also uh, given one uh, um, honor by the Japanese government. Next is uh, Kotaro Takamura's Dote, awarded first Imperial Art Academy. Takamura was the eldest son of the Japanese culture, Takamura Kohon. He graduated from the Tokyo School of Fine Arts in 1902, where he studied sculpture and oil painting. He studied in New York at the Art Students League, New York City in 1906. Takamura had two pre-war collections of poems, The Journey, Dote, 1944, and the second one is Chiaco, 1941. Dote was about his travels in New York, London, and Paris between the years 1906 and 1909. Dote received the first Imperial Academy Award. That's why he is there in that uh, list. The attack at Pearl Harbor, you can see the zero fighters flying above the Pearl Harbor down below. That is the stamp that you are seeing there. Okay, then the, the two stamps are connected to the World War. So this and the next time, the attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service upon the United States against the naval base at Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, territory of Hawaii, just before 8 a.m. on Sunday, December 7, 1941. The United States was taken totally by, a, by surprise because it is a neutral country at that time in the war. They were not... Uh, part of any of the alliances to fight against Japan. The attack was led to its formal entry because they were surprised and they were, though they were neutral, they were attacked. So they, they made a formal entry into World War II the next day. Japan intended the attack was a preventive action, not with the aim to uh, attack US, but to prevent them from entering into the alliance with any other thing because before that, they won't attack. But it gave the wrong uh, result that they rushed and then the next day itself joined the uh, alliance of United Kingdom, Netherlands and all those things. So this brought, this Pearl, at the Pearl, uh, Pearl Harbor attack brought US directly into the Pacific War against Japan. Now World War II was officially ended in Asia on September 2, 1945 with the surrender of Japan on USS Missouri. Before that, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Japan. Of course, there was a poster dam declaration in which US, UK, China, and I think Australia was also there. They asked Japan to unconditionally accept to surrender. So the Prime Minister Suzuki was there. He went back uh, to thing. And of course, there was also people who were uh, in Japan against surrendering. And there were people who thought that. Uh, Always, you know, you have people who are on one side, other people are on the other side. So, uh, Prime Minister Suzuki met the press after the meeting. So, they naturally, like any other press, they asked him, what is the decision? He said, 
I will, there's a Japanese word called chimmoku, that means silence. I'll keep silent now. So that's what he said, chimmoku. Now, for the present moment, I have no comments. If you want to say what all politicians say, that's what he meant by chimmoku. Unfortunately, the translator, interpreter said, and he was asked, uh, the translator on the American side who was asked to say, what did Mr. Prime Minister Suzuki say? He said, I'll kill it with silence, is what he has said. That's a translation, which triggered them to bring the atom bombs to Japan. So they were, they were dropped in uh, Japan. And then um, following that, the war, uh, Emperor Hirohiko announced the acceptance of Postadam Declaration on August 15, 1945. And then September 2nd, the official surrender took place. Eventually led to the surrender of the thing. On There was a ceremony on September 2nd. After the ceremony, Japanese forces continued to surrender all across the Pacific. The Americans occupied Japan after the end of the, after the end of the war until 28 April 1952, when the Treaty of San Francisco came to into effect. Now at that time, uh, of course, India also signed, but the India said we won't sign along with others. We'll sign independently with Japan. That's why 1952 this is signed. So that's why we're celebrating 70 years now. Now, establishing uh, Kokumin Gakko National School, 1941. In 1941, that's why the stamp is there. Elementary schools were renamed as National People's School, Kokumin Gakko. Translated from a German word, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce this correctly. So I'm just leaving the spelling there for you to read and pronounce as and what you can and whatever you like. The students were required to attend youth schools, okay, Seinen Gakko, vocational training school on graduation, which mixed vocational and basic military training for boys and home economics for girls. The Seinen Gakko also conducted classes at night for working boys and girls. So there was a stamp for that. Then Showa's <coughs> Showa Sinzan is a volcanic lava dome. Okay, in Shikotsu Toya National Park in Hokkaido, next to Mount Usu. The mountain was created between 28 December 1943 and September 1945. Initially, a series of long earthquakes shook the area and wheat fields were rapidly uplifted. Lava broke through the surface and the current peak was created. The peak is now 398 meters, 1,306 1, feet tall and still actually smoking. The name Showa Shinzan means Showa Era Mountain. Okay, and then it is formed during the region of Emperor Hirohito. So, because it is formed during Hirohito's reign. So this called as a, that's a, that, that reign is called as Showa period, that era is Showa era. Therefore, it is called as Showa Sinza or the Showa mountain. Now, <laughs> nuclear bomb in Hiroshima. Hiroshima city was a center of military activity during the imperial era and playing a significant roles as such, first Chino-Japanese war, Chino-Russo war, and the two wars two world wars. Hiroshima was the first day targeted for nuclear weapon. This occurred on August 6, 1945 at 8.15 a.m. when the United States Army Air Force USAAF dropped the atomic bomb, Little Boy, on the city. Most of the city was destroyed, annihilated, and end of the year between 90,000 and 166 people died as a result of blast and its effect. Hiroshima Peace Memorial. You can see the dome still maintained there. And world, it's a world, UNESCO World Heritage Site serves as a memorial of the bombing. There's a beautiful uh, building constructed, a new building. It's an exhibition for what all has happened. The old clothes which are burned and the, how the people are crying, all that is recorded and played there. <clears throat> then we have the nuclear bomb in Nagasaki. One on the day the nuclear strike, August 9th, 1945, the population in Nagasaki was estimated to be 2,63 on that day. The Boeing B-29 bomber called Fortress Black Scar 
commanded by Major Charles Sweeney, departed carrying a plutonium bomb called the Fat Man. The primary target of the bomb was not Nagasaki, but Kokura, with the secondary largest target, secondary target being Nagasaki. On the, on the day they came for bombing, Kokura around that was too cloudy to make a visual sighting. 53 seconds after the release, the bomb exploded in, on Nagasaki at uh, 11 or 2 at an approximate altitude of 1,800 feet. Now there are two memorials in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You can see. Now, Hogan Bat is a, it's a settlement stamp. You can see uh, both are there. Uh, in, they both represent the same now. Hogan Bat is a golden skull-shaped head, wears a green and white costume with high colored red cape and carries the rapier. He lives in fortress in Japanese Alps and his superpowers include superhuman strength, invulnerability, and the ability to fly. Hogan, literally golden bat, known as uh, Phantom Man or Phantom in various countries outside Japan, is a Japanese superhero. He was created by Suzuki Ichiro and uh, Takeo Nakamatsu in 1931, who originally debuted in Kamishibai Paper Theatre. Uh, Ogan Boy is considered by some to be the world's first superhero and is the forerunner to later superhero character, such as the Japanese Kamishibai character, Prince of Gamma, debut 1930, and uh, American comic book characters like Superman and 38, the Batman, etc. Ogan Bat later appeared in numerous Japanese pop culture media, including manga, anime, and Japanese film, as well as toys, posters, and during dating back to 1932. This, therefore, also because of such a popularity and which is a forum runner to many superheroes, this character finds place in the 20th century stamp series. Now, this is the 20th century stamp series 10. This again is a very interesting stamp series. If you see, there's another character called Astro Boy. Astro Boy is known in, the atom, uh, in Japan by the name Mighty Atom. Tsuan Atomo, Steel Armed Atomo is a Japanese manga series written and illustrated by Osamu Tezuka. It is serialized in Kubunsha Shonen from 1952 to 68. The 112 chapters were collected into 13 Tankoban volume by Akita Shoten. Dark Horse Comics published by King, published an English translation in 2002. The story follows Astro Boy, an android young boy with human emotions, who is created by Utamaru Temma after the death of his son, Tobio. Eventually, Astro is sold to a robo circus run by Hemang, but it saved from its servitude by Professor Ochana Mizu. Ochana Mizu is the name in Tokyo also. Astro becomes the surrogate son of Ochana Mizu, who creates a robotic family for him and helps him to live a normal life like an average human boy while accompanying him on adventures. This stamp show cover the stamp show cover illustration of the supplement to the magazine shown on from August 1961. That is the cover of the magazine on this right hand side, not the stamp on this side. You can see. Then there is a call sang. Well, there's a song called Apples by Sato Achiro and Monozume Tadashi in 1945. Ringo no Uta, Song of Apple, was a song featured within 1945 Japanese movie, Soyo Kaze, which was written by poet and lyrics Achiro Sato and the composer Tadashi Manjume, who was also the producer of the film. The song was sung as a duet between the Japanese actress Michiko Namiko, Namiki, and the singer Noburo uh, Kirishima, and released on recording in January 1946. It is considered to be the first hit song in Japan after the World War II. So Ringo finds a place here. Then comes my favorite, Sazae-san, a Japanese Yokama manga series. Okay. 
uh, Japanese uh, Yonkoma manga series written and illustrated by Michiko Asekawa. Michiko Asekawa. It was the first published in Asekawa's local paper, uh, Fukunichi Shimbun, in, on April 22, 1946, when Asahi Shimbun wished to have Asekawa draw a four panel comic for their paper, she moved to Tokyo in 1948. And the explanation of the main uh, character had moved from Kyushu to Tokyo as well. She wrote like that. Everybody has moved, so I also moved. And all the characters, they all carry names of different fishes there, including Sazai. And uh, Sazai is a uh, young girl that centers around her family members. But the events are all what happens in everyday life in Japan, giving you an exposure to that day living culture of Japan. Very beautifully written. The first Asahi san strip ran from Asahi Shimbun was published in 1949, November 30th. The manga detailed uh, and a very thought provoking series with four or five, four, a strip of four uh, comics, cartoons. She, she has brought the culture immediately to your attention. It's, it's very beautiful editor. Uh, the, it's, the English version is also available, uh, sold in 12 volumes. Anybody who is interested, they can also buy and then read. Okay. And then uh, manga dealt with everyday contemporary situation too. Until Asegawa retired and ended the series with a final comic published in 1974, February 2nd, 22nd. Sazae san won the eighth uh, Bungeshi Jumanga Award 1962. Now, enforcement of constitution in 1947. The old constitution required that bill receive support of two thirds majority in both houses of the diet become law. Both chambers had made amendments and the House of Peers approved the document on 6th October. House of Representatives adopted it in the same form the following day, and only five members voting against it. It became a law receiving emperor's assent on 3rd February okay, in 1946. Under its own terms, the constitution came into effect on May 3rd, 1947. That's a, a emperor's uh, seal and signature. I have put it on the top. Now, Furuhashi Hironoshi, Furuhashi Hironoshin made a new world record. Uh, Hironoshin Furuhashi was a Japanese Olympic freestyle swimmer in 1948. He set world records in 400 and 1,500 meter freestyle in Japan National Championship. Because of his achievements in 1949 US National Championship Aquatic, in which he set new world records, freestyle swimming, all distances and categories, Furuhashi was referred to by the U.S. media as a flying fish of Fujiyama in total. Fuji Furuhashi set 33 world records during his swimming career. After retiring from competitive swimming, he served as a president of the Japanese Olympic Committee for five terms until retiring in 1999. Hideki Yokawa was a Japanese theoretical physicist and the first Japanese Nobel laureate and uh, his prediction as Pimason or Pion, for his uh, prediction of Pion. In 1935, he published his theory of uh, Mesons, which explained the interaction between protons and neutrons and was a major influence on research into elementary particles. 1940, he became a professor of Kyoto University. In 1940, he won the Imperial Prize of the Japan Academy, 43 Decoration of Cultural Merit from the Japanese government. 14 and became a professor of Columbia University. The same year, he received the Nobel Prize in Physics after the discovery of uh, Yokawa's predicted Pima Sun in 1947. Now, the next is like our own uh, TV shows NHK Kohaku Utaga Sun. Japan's Kohaku Utaga Sun is a red and white song battle, was inaugurated as a radio show only in 1951 being moving into television uh, before moving into television in 1953 
a TV special produced by NHK Japan Broadcasting Corporation had been screened annually in the New Year's Eve for 65 consecutive years as of 217 contest, uh, 2017. Uh, 2017 contest was the 67th contest. And Kohaku seems to have invited teams of male, their white, Shirogumi, and female, red, Akagumi singers and bands perform against each other before judges and audience who vote them the who vote the winner at that time. Now, this again is a story. Post-war period, biggest hit. Kiminova, Kiminova. What is your name? Kimi is you. Your name. What is your name? It's a again a very. A, um, soul searching or a heart rendering story it became life as a, it's it began life as a weekly radio drama in nhk 1952 stole the story of mariko uji and haruki atomiya who first met and fall in love in ginza tsukiyabashi bridge during great tokyo air ride in march 1945 mariko and haruki pledged to meet again on the bridge in 6 months but part without asking each other's name naturally they never make their big date and spend many heartbreaking episodes and fruitless searching mariko finally marries another man but can never forget the hapless haruki but the ill-fated romance between haruki and mariko remained its focus and it made such a hit that women side that the public bus in those days they have the sento sento is a public bus where uh, because it's very expensive to run bath at home so they have a warm water boil and you know, putting a fire on firewood and then so people go to sento to take a public bath the sento public bath was said to be empty when this particular movie is aired the nijushi no itomi by sakai 24 eyes is 1954 japanese drama film directed by Kinoshita, based on 1952 novel of the same name, okay, Sakae Tosubi, Tsubi, uh, uh, Sakae Tsuboi. 24 Eyes was released in Japan by Shochiku in uh, uh, 15th September 1954, where it received generally positive reviews and commercial success. The film received a number of awards, including Kinema Jumpo Best One Award in 1952. as well as the Henry Henrietta Award in 15th, 5th Annual World Film Favorite Fest. The film was been noted for, the, for its anti-war theme and remade in October 1987. And the last of the series that we'll be seeing today is 11. Give me a few minutes. Now, the first one, we cannot be talking about all films without talking about Akira Kurosawa. Akira Kurosawa was a Japanese filmmaker and a painter who directed 30 films in career, spanning over five decades. He is regarded as one of the most important and influential filmmakers in the history. Kurosawa entered Japanese film history in 1936, following a brief stint as a painter. After years of working on numerous films and as an assistant director and screen script writer, he made his debut as a director during World War II with a popular action film, Sanshiro Sugata. After the war, the critically acclaimed Drunken Angel, in which Kurosawa cast the then little-known actor Toshiro Mifune uh, in a starring role, cemented the director's reputation as one of the most important young filmmakers of Japan. The two men got along so well, then they worked together for next another 15 films. Seven Samurai released in the United States Initially as Magnificent Seven, in 1954, Japanese epic samurai drama film co-written, edited, and directed by Kurosawa. The story takes place in 19, uh, 1586 during the Sengoku period of history. The visuals, plot, dialogue, film techniques of Seven Samurai inspired a wide range of filmmakers, ranging from Stephen Spielberg, George Lucas, Martin Scrooge, and uh, Quentin Tarantino. According to Prince, Kurosawa was a mentor figure 
to an emerging generation of American filmmakers went on to develop a Hollywood blockbuster format in 1970. Then the Tokyo Tower, officially called as the uh, Nippon Jinpato or the Tokyo Japan Radio Tower, is a communication observation tower in Shibakoyan district in Minato, Tokyo. Built in 1958 at 332.9 meters, 1,092 feet, it is the second tallest structure in Japan. The structure is the structure is an Eiffel Tower inspired lattice tower that is painted white and international orange, comply with air safety regulation. The tower's main source of income are tourism and antenna leasing. A large broadcasting tower was needed in Kanto region. After NHK, Japan's public broadcasting station began television broadcasting in 1953. This communication boom led the Japanese government to believe that transmission towers would soon be built all over Tokyo, eventually overrunning the city. Their proposed solution was to construct one large tower capable of transmitting the entire region. Therefore, furthermore, because the country's post-war boom in 1950. Japan was searching for a monument to symbolize its ascendancy as a global economic powerhouse. <coughs> All put together, Tokyo Tower was the solution. Yeah. Naito, Tachu Naito, renowned designer of tall buildings in Japan, was chosen to design the newly proposed tower. Naito proposed his design on Eiffel Tower's basis in Paris, France. Takenaka Corporation. Broke the ground in 1957 when the 90-meter-long antenna was bolted. Placed on 14th October 1958, Tokyo Tower was the tallest freestanding tower in the world, taking the title from the Eiffel Tower by nine meters. Now, beginning of television and regular broadcast 1953, the Shark model TV 3 14T became the Japan's first commercially produced television. It is priced as look at the price one lakh seventy five thousand yens at that time. Salaries of government workers with high school education is five thousand four hundred yens per month. Now you can decide to buy a television. How long they have to work? In February nineteen fifty three, NHK began daily television transmission for four hours a day. The initial number of viewing households were eight hundred and sixty six nationwide. The license was. 200 yens per month. Television sets made their way into coffee shops, hotels, and companies. TV play areas at stores were jammed with people who wanted to see what were they called as visual radio sets. Now we had talk about uh, Mitsuhiro Momota, the bonus. His bonus is a Korean bonus, Kim Sin Rak, but he was better known as Ricky Dozan. So he was a Korean Japanese wrestler, Korean neutralized Japanese who competed in competed in sumo and professional wrestling. He was known as the father of pro res, pro res professional wrestling, where it's a free for all to do wrestling. And one of the most influential persons in professional wrestling history. Initially, he had moved from his nature native country Korea to Japan to become a rikshi, a sumo wrestler. <coughs> He was credited with bringing the sport of professional wrestling to Japan at the time when Japanese needed a local hero to emulate, and was lauded as national hero. He was induced into WWW, a WWE Hall of Fame in 2017, becoming the first Korean inductee and the third pro wrestler star to become after Antonio. Hinoki and uh, Tatsumi Kurumas was unfortunately killed in a street fight with a member of the Yakuza group. Yakuza is, of course, like uh, I don't know how to transfer Yakuza. Well, mob, I should say, mob which is carrying out all illegal activities. Okay, the next one is novel. Taiyo no Kisetsu, the season of sun, 1955. You can see the cover on the thing. Season of sun, Taiyo no Kisetsu, published in English as season of violence. 
is a Japanese novel written in 1955 by Shintaro Ishihara, who later became the politician and also governor of Tokyo for 13 years from 1999 to 2012. It is a source of name of rebellious Tai Taiyozuku youth culture, which emerged after World War II. Novel won the 1956 Hakutagawa Prize in 2012. It inspired the name of Ishira's short-lived national political party, the Sunrise Party, Taiyo no to. And uh, the next is issue of 10,000 yen bank note with Prince Shotaku. The 10,000 yen note, you can see the currency on the right-hand side. This is Prince Shotaku's picture I put in the stamp with the elliptical thing is mask. And then that is a stamp you see with the HN. The same picture is in and the currency also. The 10,000 note is the largest bank note domination, denomination in Japanese yen, as well as the largest denomination in the Japanese yen overall. The first introduced Japan in 1958 to the third series of the bank you know, series C. The note was issued on December 1st, 1958. The brown green note included print Shotaku on the front and a pillar painting of Ho. Ho is, uh, is uh, Phoenix like uh, thing, the Hall of uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix, uh, and uh, Byodo. So that's it. We that brings us slightly. We are away from the one hour target. But today, a lot of information, so I thought I should share with you. Thank you all for your patience and staying with me. Thank you.